What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I went on ahead and picked up the brand new set uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duel of Synchro Storm, and I thought it might be fun to do something a little bit different today, because I went to a local card shop, uh, I still don't have like a local where I can play the game, but they do sell Yu-Gi-Oh! cards at least, and they've been getting better on actually having a lot of product, and he always sells at actual retail, so I gotta give the guy credit. But anyway, I spent $70, I think it was about $75 with tax and everything, on this box. So, let's see if we make a profit or break even or what. I thought that might be a fun series because we all know I spend a little bit on packs. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of have sort of a profit or loss sort of thing. Kind of like I've seen on some Pokemon channel stuff too, like Darium's. Uh, I don't know if you've seen their Pokemon channel, but I'm a big fan of their stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of take one of their ideas, I guess. But I'll credit given to them because they're awesome. I know they open up a lot of Pokemon products. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. But also, too, uh, I got this playmat from Pal uh, Playmat. So be sure to check them out. Link in the description in case people are wondering. There's the full playmat. And also, they do have tokens and field centers, too. They sent me these a while ago. So I wanted to show them to you guys. And uh, they're just really cool. Especially Bersinatrix, which I don't think will get you in trouble. It'll get me in trouble with my wife, probably. <laughs> but they are awesome looking. The back is like a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card and stuff, too. And the quality is there. So check them out. They are awesome. They make custom mats and stuff, too. Make for almost every archetype. I think they just announced the other day, too, they're making cloth play mats, too. So check them out. They're really cool. And uh, they're friends of mine. They didn't pay me to like, give them an advertisement. They did send me the play mat and the tokens. But I've been a fan ever since, like, the beginning that they started making playmats and stuff, and uh, I, I love the quality. So, and they ship it really quickly. I don't know if they have some, like, already printed, or they just print really quickly, or what. But, yeah, props to them. Link to their Facebook page, because I don't think they have, like, an actual storefront. So, let's get to it. But you got to give shout-outs to your friends. All right. Zone. And... Oh, yeah, that's a good way to start off an opening. Okay, this I think will help us out. I don't remember the price on this one off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, we have Clearwing Rider. There you go. You see Synchro Monster. You're wondering what you're getting. <laughs> Already an Ultra Air. Then also we have uh, Phantom Feathers. Not bad. Of course, too, we're hoping to get the Ghost Trick. I mean, that is number one on my list. Top priority. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I didn't have luck with Rage of Raw. I'm hoping I'm going to have luck with this one. And a Chevalier de Fleur. Also, uh, for this series as well, unless there's like a rare or common that does really well, like short printed, especially in the future of this, um, I'll count it. But we're probably just going to count hollows, whether it's profit or loss. So you can always, you know, if you sell commons or rares, you can do that. But <laughs> that would take forever to really, you know, calculate that. Oh, we have Speedroid Wheel. That's pretty cool. I like it too because it kind of has the, uh, the gambling sort of, what game is that? Um, dang, I can't think of it, what it's called. You guys will have to tell me in the, the comments. I don't think you're allowed to do that either, like in Oklahoma. That's where I have been to a casino. In Texas, we don't have casinos, so. Dang, I can't think of the name of it. But for some reason, it's like in certain states you can't play it. I don't know. I don't know the rules. <laughs> Fleur de Synchron. Not gonna claim to. Yeah, but still in Texas. We might get weed before we get... Gambling. That is random. Uh, oh well. Still the best state. I'll die on that hill. <laughs> we have a symbol Nightingale. I drive my wife crazy on that because she's from Oklahoma. And I always tell her how much, you know, how, how Texas is so much better. So. That's not going to start anything. Well, focus please. You kind of went to another world. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then we got uh, Canary. Oh, that pack's standing up. It has to be good. Maybe. I'm trying not to make any bad jokes. <laughs> it's very tough for me. Uh, then... Ah, oh, Terror Top. Again, that's good. Kite Drake. Alright. This pack was happy to see us, so that has to be a good sign. Maybe. Ghost Rare? Ah, I would take that. Quillbolt? <laughs> I still love that. Hey, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> we got an Ultra Rare. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, hey, I'm just joking. And Okay. I was wondering what rarity the Tuner Monster was. I couldn't remember, you know, the the new, like, uh, 
uh, Fleur de Synchron, or Fleur Synchron, or however you say it, but, uh, yeah, it is Necro Synchron. Very nice, though. I'll take that. Because I know if I do build them, I'm going to need a couple of these, I believe. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Speedroid uh, Duplicate. So, that's, I think, pretty good to get. I'll check the prices towards the end, and of course I'll have them on screen when I'm editing, too, whatever it fluctuates, because this isn't going to be the release day one that I am posting, because, again, if I'm going to try to actually have prices, you, you can't really do it on release day, because it changes so much. Hype Drake again. Because with Yu-Gi-Oh, especially Yu-Gi-Oh players, there's hype. Things go a little nuts. Happens with other card games, too. I've seen it with Pokemon, but I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh is still probably the worst about it. Oh, there's a super rare for us. We have, uh, let's see, Speedroy, Defuki, uh, Modoshi, Piper. I'm always trying to say that as correct as I can. And then we have uh, Phantom Feathers again. A couple of Speedroids this time. Last time it was like all the floor, like the Sherry's cards, basically. So, which I wouldn't mind building them if I have the luck. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's one of our synchros. Yeah, I believe the, the new synchro where she's riding the horse is the expensive one. Unknown synchron. I'm also wondering what's going to happen to the secondary market on this too, being that we have like two sets that are you know, like a day apart, basically, and release. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, hey, another Ultra, really, already, dang. Uh, we're getting all our Ultras, we're, I don't know, maybe a four through the box? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, it's in blue, uh, Robin, though. So, basically, I guess we at least got one for each of the archetypes. That's kind of cool. And Nightingale, by the way, but, uh, yeah. Is that three? Yeah. I think you normally get four. I'm hoping maybe since we got them so quickly that the, we might get five. Oh, well, there's the horse, too. That actually gives me a playset. set. Uh, we got White Steed of the Floral Knights. I'll take that one. Because I got a double of that one out of my first box, so... I'll take that. Oh, speed recovery, okay. Yeah, another one of Canary. It's kind of the bad part, too, is that I have an extra light here. I think it's kind of messing with the, uh, the focus. But I feel like it makes it look so much better on the camera, too, that I'm like, yeah, I might just have to deal with some of the focusing. I could probably turn off autofocus and it'd do better, but I feel like that, I don't know. The end result, I feel like, is good. Well, there's our double. We got a double for an ultra. Dang, seriously, we're not through with half of the box. And we've gotten, like, I think all of our ultras. Maybe there's another. I hope so. But, uh, yeah, we got another one of Clearwing Rider. Dang, I actually got a playset of that one. That is really cool. And Synchro Dilemma, by the way. I don't know if I've named this one, but yeah. Of all the ones to get a, a double on, that's pretty good. I'll take a double Ultra Rare. Why can't I do that way with, like, the Ghost Rare, right? I want to see someone, I hope someone does, too, gets a box that gets two Ghost Rares. Now, that would be interesting. Also, it sounds like a motorcycle's going past right now. <laughs> There's our third one, <laughs> I guess. What in the world? Okay. That's where the ghost rare is right there. The pack that went to pieces. Ah, uh, nothing, unfortunately. Now with the left side. Dang, again, we've gotten all these ultra rares, and I'm like, now to the left side? Makes me wonder if there's anything on the left side. I hope so. Talk about crying if you shared this box with, like, your friend or something. If you take us out of the box. Oof. <laughs> Feel bad for the left side person so far. Oh, lyricals. A few of them. I'm hoping that the ghost is on this left side and make it so this box is like the insane one. The most insane box ever. It's the one I chose to do this video with, too. Okay. Then? Oh, 
Oh, okay, it is hollow. Okay. <laughs> we have uh, Ultra Hound. Sweet Red Ultra Hound. I'll say, I thought I could kind of see on the edge or something. You know, I don't know. Just seeing what there was a hollow. And I was just wondering, I was like, am I crazy? Or is there actually something there? Glad we actually got something. Alright, anything else though? Oh! We actually got another Ultra Rare! Man, this is gonna be the box that's gonna do it too, you know? <laughs> the one, again, where I'm trying to see if we can make our money back, and we're getting like extra Ultra Rares? I'll take it. <laughs> we actually have, how do you say this one? Asajj uh, de Fleur? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but I think that is uh, definitely one I'm trying to hunt down, because again, I guess I'm gonna try to build them. <laughs> At first I was like, no way, because they're so expensive, but our first box was so good with them, uh, I'm gonna attempt it. <laughs> we'll see. See if we can actually do this, but uh, yeah, <laughs> another ultra for us. Dang. I'm hoping that's not it still. I mean, shoot for the moon, right? Get one of each ultra rare of the set. I know I'm greedy, but why not? It doesn't hurt to be a little greedy sometimes. Anything else? Speedroids. Of course, speedroids for days. You will definitely get your speedroids. Get your fix for them. Again, I'm pretty happy that Terror Top is going to be a lot easier to get. Kind of cool that uh, Quill Pin is in this, although I wish we actually had some Gusto support. I know technically they got some new support recently. It wasn't much, but I want like a structure deck for them. Something really good. I mean, hey, if Ice Barriers can get a structure deck, Cyber Darts can get a structure deck, I didn't see either one of those happening, then why not Gustos? Alright, Tornado Dragon. Oh, there we go. We got our Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, another one. I still think that's kind of a wasted spot. I don't know. Since it, I don't think it's been expensive, because it was a promo and everything, um, yeah, I feel like there could have been something else in that spot, but I do like Clear Wing. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, my second favorite of the Dimension Dragons, because I still really like Dark Rebellion. I think Dark Rebellion's my favorite. It's a tough one. I like both. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down in those comments. There's a Speedroid. You can even be wrong and say Starving Venom. It's okay. <laughs> Starving Venom is actually good. Get that super polymerization. Oof, your opponent will hate you. Oh, Speed Roid Wheel. Is that another double? Yeah, I think so, actually, for us. So, there you go. Okay. I'll take another one. Sure. As many hollows as we can get. Keep, keep them coming. No problem here. Oh. <laughs> another clear wing. Of course. <laughs> that would be one I get a double of, too. Yeah, again, I'll take it. I feel like we're just getting extra hollows now. I feel like uh, we've gotten way past what we're supposed to. So... Yeah. <laughs> Give me that upgraded clear wing, though. That's the one I want. Make that the next one. Any other ultra would be amazing right now. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping that maybe I had something there. Revolution. It's very possible. This box is really weird. So, I don't know. I feel like anything is possible. Another revolution. Only a few packs left. Heart of the cards. Help me out here. Then. Ah. Oh, for some reason that looked like... I, I thought I had an ultra. I really did. <laughs> I was hoping maybe it was another one of the tuner monster, to be honest. Again, I know we got everything we should probably by now. But I'm still hopeful. And the rest of the box was way better than the left, so I really would feel bad for someone if they split this box. Oh, we do actually have another hollow for us. What is this one? Uh, Bird Sanctuary. I, I can't read it through the camera. So, yeah, that is a really shiny card. Another super rare for us, too. Sure, why not? And last pack. Okay, I'm going to say it because I can. I don't get to say it very often. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Heart of the cards, help me out here. 
Let's end with something. Get get a really awesome card here. We're gonna dice. And uh <laughs> unfortunately not. Yeah, again, this box was really good, so it's kind of tough to do that. So let's do a recap on our prices and stuff, and uh yeah, I'll show you guys uh, how we did. Alright, so how did we do? Right now I'm looking at TCG Player. Again, they're not technically a sponsor, but if you do use my link, it does help out the channel. But I use them a lot to kind of judge prices. From what I can tell, we didn't get anything that's just too crazy. I mean, you still have, of course, uh, which one? Uh, Baron de Fleur, which is the the Synchro Monster, the like, Sherry's main Synchro that's in this set, that's really expensive from the set, that's reaching, you know, getting pretty close to 100 bucks. And then, of course, the Ghost Rare is expensive. Other than that, I mean, yeah, it is. Uh, it really is one of those sets that doesn't have a ton of expensive cards in it. It's like really those two, and then other than that, you're gonna have to work for your hollows on it. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this idea in the future, especially for like main sets too. We can kind of see how things change and uh yeah, maybe it'll be a bit closer because I feel like basically you just have to get two of those, you know, those two cards and you win. Otherwise, it's a little tough. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member if you want to as well. Your name will be featured at the end card and you get like emotes and all kinds of really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I do plan to live stream more too. That should, I think you get some kind of special stuff too for that. So thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.